This video looks at Kirchhoff's voltage law. Kirchhoff. Um, and this is not too different from the Kirchhoff's uh, current law. Um, we're going to start off with a simple circuit. And we've got a supply voltage here. We've got a voltage across a resistor and a voltage across a lamp. And Kirchhoff's voltage law is going to uh, help us do calculations and things like that, same as the uh, current law. Um, but what Kirchhoff's voltage law says is that in any loop, any closed loop in a circuit, uh, the sum of the voltages adds to zero. So I'll write it the same way as I wrote the current law. The sum of the voltages in any closed loop is equal to zero volts. Zero volts. And uh, the example for this one is uh, your supply voltage minus your voltage across the resistance. And it's minus because you're going in the direction that the current is flowing which means there is a uh, transfer of energy from the circuit out into heat through the resistor, in the case of the light bulb, into heat and light. So you could talk about that in terms of a loss of energy. Loss is not strictly speaking correct, but because your energy potential is decreasing, uh, you have to write that as a minus. And then we've also got uh, minus the voltage across the lamp, and all of that uh, equals zero. So if you need two or the three, you can calculate the one. So it's very, very simple in this form, but when you start having more complicated circuits, such as parallel and circuits and circuits that have multiple power supplies and multiple power supplies in parallel, then these laws become very crucial. So we'll do a very quick example of Kirchhoff's voltage law. If uh, the supply voltage in this case is 12 volts, and we know that there is a 3 volt drop across the resistor, so VR is 3 volts. That means, <coughs> excuse me, uh, if we put these numbers into our uh, equation, we've got 0 equals 12 minus 3 minus VL. So we know that VL equals 12 minus 3 gives us 9 volts. Okay, and this is a very simple case, as I said. So you can see that 12 is a supply, 9, um, uh, 9 plus 3 equals 12. But when you start getting parallel in series, in the calculations, that um, examples that follow, you will see that it's very beneficial to do it this way.